Hi everybody, it's Linda from The Crafting Depot and today I've been sitting here looking at this pile of papers that I have. So I decided to um, <clears throat> cut them up into pieces as you can see over here I started. And what I came up with is a cluster belly band. So I glued all these pieces onto a piece of paper and then I went inside and I sewed them. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing right now. If you're interested in following along, I would love to have you. Okay, so I have some paper here, and I'm going to just rip it <clears throat> and use it as my background for my belly band. And let me just see. Let me get my book to make sure. <coughs> I have a couple of books that are probably finished, but I should... Just make sure that these bands will fit. So let's cut a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom. We don't want, and they can go above this and below this. Okay, so we got that. And let's move that book over. I need to finish that book. I have so many things that I start and I don't finish. I move on to different things. It's kind of like ADHD had it my whole life where I get um, distracted so I have piles what I did was I have piles that now got a little bit messed up so I have some things that look like digi kits papers I cut out some hearts that are that are colored and let's go with the theme here so let's do the blue and I have some blue paper and <clears throat> We have this pretty paper. We can move that around and let's see what else do we have. We can get out another piece of this. And then we have some hearts that have blue and green in them. So I don't know if I like that. <clears throat> let's see what else I have. A lot of stuff here but they're all in the I'm just looking now everything's like in the goldish oh here this is kind of cute let's see what else we have that'll go do we have any we have some I cut out some some birds and then we have some <clears throat> white music paper so let's get the ink. Let's not lose this. Let's get out the ink. Where's the ink? Yeah, I really want to get to the bottom of this pile of papers. Because what's the, what's the sense of keeping all this stuff if you're not going to use it, you know? So that's my goal, is to tackle all the papers and then <clears throat> if I'm not going to use them they're going out to the into the uh, garbage because they just keep piling up and I have too much of it okay oh, you're gonna get you're gonna turn blue I've been, you know, speaking of birds, I've been watching a lot of birds, don't ask me why, on on these reels. Sorry, I got the hiccups. It seems like every time I get on online, I get the hiccups. It's weird. Yes, yeah, so, uh, oh, I'm not even in camera. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I watch a lot of reels on parrots. Let me see. Oh, wait. There we go. And they're really amazing. I've seen birds that open and close doors. They know how to um, get the crows, know how to get the water out of the bottom of a container. They throw rocks in there. And it's just amazing. Keeps them busy. So I got a, I, I thought about the birds when I picked up the little, this little guy over here. Okay, so here we go. 
I'm going to turn everything on. This is going to be a blue belly band. Let's see, we did all those. We got that, that, and that. And you know what? Let's get a heart. Even though it's got some green, maybe we can put some blue in there. Blue and green look nice together. And we'll rub some blue in here. I did what I did was I took some paper and I started stenciling and <clears throat> I stenciled with blue and green but you can't see all of the um, all of the uh, stencil so we're gonna put that there and then we're gonna put you there and then you're gonna go Wait a minute, wrong side. You're going to go like that. And we're going to get another piece of blue paper. You're going to go over there like that. <clears throat> and then you're going to go in here like that. And then this could go on the bottom. This could go down here like this. Here's that little bird. And then you're gonna go, you could go like that. And where's that blue dauber? We can do a little bit more blue here. And up there. It needs more. So we have these little punch out butterflies that I did while I was at um, Pam's house taking care of Sunny. And let's put a little blue and let's get, let's close this up. Let's get the green dauber. Where are you? Here you are. Because we got blue on blue. So we need a little bit more color. So let's, let's do some green and the blue together. That looks pretty cool. And then we're going to... Put you right there. That looks good. Close that up. And then we could also put a little heart right there. But you know what? I want that to pop a little bit more. So where is my... <clears throat> Let's put some... A little bit of black soot. Where are you? There you are. Let's just see what happens with the black soot. We'll just put a little bit around the edges. And give it a little poppage. I know that's not a real word. Okay, that looks good. And then you're going to go like that over there. Maybe a little bit in more. Okay. And then we can always take the brown dauber. And if we want, we can go around the whole thing. And just give it a little bit more. You just went out, Baxter, and I just fed you. No crying. Mommy's working. No crying. Okay, so we have this cute little blue cluster, and I think I'm going to do more to it. It's not enough. Okay, so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to get out the old tray of, or bowl rather, of um, stickles. So <clears throat> let's do some stickling. So let's put some stickles around here and hopefully this will work. Am I in camera? Yes, I am. So I'm going to put some stickles around. And these are really cute. They add a lot of dimension to your embellishments.
They look really pretty. I'll tell you, I love doing this junk journaling. I had, I didn't understand it, but now I do. And I absolutely enjoy what I'm doing. And I enjoy the fact that I'm meeting a lot of you and I'm, I'm truly grateful to all of you that are following me. I know I'm not, you know, big. I'm, I'm just a small little channel, but um, <clears throat> it gives me great joy um, to do things for you all. Okay, so here is our second one and I'm going to put it inside. It needs to dry. I won't be able to sew this tonight, but I can do it, you know, tomorrow. All right, so hold on. I'm going to move this inside so I don't ruin it. Okay, so let's do another one. Um, <clears throat> move that over. And I'm going to get a piece of scrapbook paper. Okay, so I got this. It's already ripped on one side. And we're just going to use this to adhere some of our stuff to it. And I'll move that over there. And let's see how long this is. So it is seven, a little less than seven inches. That's fine. So we'll just use that. And we'll start adhering stuff to it. This is from a jelly print that I did. And I really like the way that came out. <clears throat> so that's got some different color, colors in there. And this is picking up one of the colors. This is, this can go down here. This can go in like that, although. Baxter, stop you crying. There's no reason to cry. You know, we were at my son's house, and it's crazy with the kids and everything, and I, I saw the look on his face, like, in total shock, like he couldn't believe some of, the <laughs> some of the stuff, you know, like the kids are crying. He's not used to it. So, he's home now. He should be very happy. It's peaceful and quiet here at the Home Depot. <laughs> not the Home Depot, the Crafting Depot. <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, you're going over here. You were supposed to go on the other one. What happened? Okay, so this is not the right color, I think. That would look better. And we have green paper. I kind of like that. That would look good there. And maybe pick up some more green. Or not green, red. Get that. Sorry, you know, it's it's not easy to just throw things down like one, two, three. For me, anyway, I find it challenging. So, um, <clears throat> all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress everything. It needs to be distressed. You know what? I don't like this. I think I'm going to do this. I don't know. Do you want to watch me? You can fast forward. This will be too long. I'll be here forever. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the, um, the green, and I'm going to go over everything with green. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I distressed everything, and now what I want to do is add all this stuff to my paper okay where's my here it is and I'm in camera and we're gonna put glue on this side and that's gonna hang over there this is gonna go up here or was that this maybe this could go underneath like that yep that's what we're doing so you know, it's amazing how time flies when you're recording. It's time just goes by super fast because you're trying to go as fast as you can. But the videos, you know, with the videos, so you're not boring everybody. But, 
you know, it takes time to do these things. All right, and then this is going to go like that. And we're going to put this, you're going underneath. So we're going to go like that, like that. And then I want something other than you. This might, this might be okay. Yep. You're going to do it. You're, you're going on. Okay, so you're going on like that. And then what I was thinking of, close this up, is, um, oh wait, this is cute too. I should have put this. Well, I already did that. So we're going to put a little bit of brown distress ink around us. You know what? Let me get the other, the brush dauber. These brush daubers, these are great because they, they work out better. You don't get that line. You know, if you're new to junk journaling, it, it gives you a different um, texture. You don't get these raggedy edges okay and then what i'm going to do is take the green dauber and i'm going to go around with some green here we go and we're going to put you do we want you i think we want you up there and we're going to put you, something else down there okay we have to use up all these papers, so putting you up there, and then we're getting one of you birds here, and we're going to get the, the green dauber, and we're just going to color you in, this bird, and you're going right there, of that piece of paper. And then I have some string that I could put on here. Let me get the, where did I put it? Okay, it's a mess here. Okay, hold on. So I have some string and I'm going to turn it into a bow. Bring that around like that and like that. Make it a little bit smaller, tighten it. Like, whoops that and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut a little bit of it off use my little scissors here cut a little bit of it off and then I'm gonna take the um, fabric fix glue which is by beacon if you're not familiar with it it's great glue it's permanent and it helps uh, uh, fabric lace leather trims and more it's a great glue Okay, learned about that through Pam. And there we go. We're going to put this right there like that. It's going to be hard to sew over, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so let's push that down. So I think after I sew these, I'm probably going to add more things to it. But for now, I'm just going to show you the basic part of it. So that will be a cluster um, belly band. So that's number two. Okay, let's get another piece of... You gotta use up these papers. We're never gonna get uh, get it all done tonight online, but after I finish this video, I am going to continue working frantically to get rid of these papers. So you have to go like that. You're gonna go like that. Um, you're going to go like that. I mean, I have so many more papers. This is, this is nothing. So we can put you like that. And you can probably come up there like that. And then what do we have here? We want to use up these birds, right? Right. 
and you can go there like that. Here's a piece of paper there. And oh, I have this paper too. This is packing slip paper. And um, I put, let me see, what am I going to put in here? I could put a heart. Not that heart. I got other hearts. Okay, so I'm going to pause, distress, and I'll be right back. Okay, let me see if I can figure out how to do this again. Okay, I don't remember how I had this. So we're just going to um, play with the papers and see what happens. So we'll put this up there. We have this, this map. It's going to go on this side. And you yeah, have this orange, orange, and you know, orange looks really good with the, with the blue. That looks good. And we'll put some more map paper, scrap of paper down here. And then we have this. This can go underneath here, or maybe like this. Yeah, because we don't want too much of that there. So we're going to go like this and down. Bring it down like that. Okay, and then we have this paper here. This is the packing slip paper. And we're going to bring that down there. And then we have this pretty girl right here. And she was from some DigiKit book I bought. Okay, you're going there. And then you're flying in up, up here. Okay, let's get some glue. And we got to use up the birdies. Okay, there we go, birdie. You're there. Now, we need more to this. Hold on. Where did I put it? I took out a bunch of... Okay, so I have lime green and I have orange. I have more than this. I mean, goodness gracious, I have a lot. Okay, so what we could do is we could just roll it up like this. And let me see if that works. Make it like a, like a little bird nest. Okay, so let's take some glue and we'll put it next to the bird because that makes sense and that's going to be like a little bird nest right there like that squish that in there and we could also put a button in there too that would look cute let me find a button so i found a tiny little button and that could that could be like the egg. So put a little bit of glue in here. And we will stick you right there. There you go. Okay. And do we want to put a little, well, maybe orange? No. That yellow? It's the same as that. I don't know. Not feeling it. I think I want to... Do I want to do any more? Yes, I do. I'm going to put you... I'm going to put you like that. Okay, so we have another cluster in the beginning that needs to dry before I sew it. So we have, we made two. Okay. One more. Okay, here I am. I'm back. <clears throat> this is about six and a half inches, so we can go over. All right. So we have this young lady. We have, this is a digi kit that I made that I never posted up online. And... We have some more music paper. 
we have a jelly print that I made. This will go nice with this. And <clears throat> maybe this can stick out here. You know, simple, simple little things can turn into something nice. So I'm going to um, distress these again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I use the festive berries to um, go around everything except for the, um, the packaging paper. I didn't do that. So let's glue this down, and let's see what happens. Okay, so we'll start with the packaging. I think I'm running out of glue here. All right, let me get another. Where did I just put the cap? Oh, here it is. Let me get another um, glue stick. And I have one. Okay, so we'll start gluing this down, this paper. So what I did with this paper, I did a video on this a while ago. I took packaging paper and I just crumpled it up and then I put some... Um, what did I put on there? Oh, it was um, acrylic paints. I'm trying to think. Okay, this might look good. That'll look good there. And you're going to go right there like that. How did I have this? Maybe this will go under? Yeah. You're going to go under. You're going to go under. Like that. And then we have this. Okay, you're going over here. And I had you, yep, like that. And then I have these butterflies. Down like that. Okay, so you're going, whoops, we'll fix you. Okay, we gotta fix you. That's not a problem, we can fix you. So once you're on there, you're, you're glued, you're fine. Okay, let's go up like that. And then you're gonna go underneath that might not be. All right, we're going to need something else. All right, so we're going to put glue here. And we're going to put you down here. And then we need something else right there. So we could put, we could take some of this gold paper, put it in like that. Yep, I like that because then it goes with the paper that's on the top. So, and then we can lift this, because I don't want to see the, I don't want to see that purple um, paper that, okay, so here we have it, this one. Okay, now you don't have to sew them, you do not have to sew them, but I think on this one, I am going to, look how cute these came out. I mean, seriously, these are cute. These would make nice little uh, belly band, cluster belly bands for your journals. And I think for this one, I'm going to put in some, I'm going to sew these. You know what? Let me sew these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. And this is the one that I didn't sew. And what I'm going to do to this one is I'm going to put on a blue button. I didn't sew it because if you remember, I put stickles around it and I don't want to, it to get ruined. So I'm going to. With this little flower thing it's from a piece of jewelry I think and you're going right there and the rest of you I'm gonna stay right here on the table not you guys I'm talking to the papers I'm gonna move you over but how cute is that okay so that's going right there and then I think what I'm gonna do is some stickling we're going to do some stickling. So let's move this over. These are really adorable. So we got, let's see if this comes out. Might need to be getting new stickle stuff soon. Mm, 
Really adorable. Cute. Cutie tootie. We'll put some glue, not glue, stickles over here. And we'll put some stickles down here. Some over here. Go around the top. Over here. And some over here. How cute is that? That really sparkles. So that is one. And hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay, so move it right there. Let's bring this one over. We have blue. Let's use the blue. And these are going to go into the new journals that I'll be working on soon. Very different. There you go. So we'll just do the top and the bottom on that one. And we'll move you over to there. And then we have this one. And I'm thinking what color do we want to use on this? We do have some green in here, so let's use some green. Oops. Put some gold. Where did I just put it? I just had it. Here it is. Put some gold up here. And then we have the green one. I've already smushed this one, bumped into it, but you know what? I can fix it. This one right here, I smushed it. Let me see if I can move this over. Ah. And we'll get the, what is this? Diamond glitter. We'll get the diamond glitter out. you back over there and then um, you're done you're done you're going over there you my friend are coming here and I just put it down oh here it is we have gold and we have glitter and we have green in here how cute are these I mean really so I will continue to work here after this video to try and get some of this papers um, put to some useful purpose here. So they're not doing any good by sitting in these boxes here. They have to turn into something useful. And this, I think, is a great activity for anyone that's making their own journals. You can use your papers. Okay, so let's line them up and see how they are. So we have, let's bring this up. So we've done several different ones. We use the sewing machine, and we we on this one we didn't use the sewing machine. And I know it's a the table is a disaster. You probably can't see what I'm doing here because of all the the mess. So let's move this stuff over and get these papers out of the way. And I hope you can see this. Try to move this over. Ugh. 
Okay, there you have it. We used our papers to make a few cluster belly bands. And there you have it, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and notification button because it really helps my channel a lot. I know that I'm new to the, um, the crafting world, so um, I'm really enjoying myself. And if you enjoy watching me, you know, I'd love to have you. Okay, so with that, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye, guys.